Hey space enthusiast, today let's talk about Kepler 186AF. This fascinating exoplanet orbits the M1 type dwarf star known as Kepler 186, located a whopping 561 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. Now, Kepler 186 isn't your everyday star, it's about half the mass of our Sun and significantly dimmer, with only about 5% of the Sun's luminosity. What makes the Kepler 186 system truly intriguing is its five known planets, especially Kepler 186F. This was the first Earth sized planet discovered in the habitable zone of another star. So, what do we know about Kepler 186F? First off, it orbits its star at roughly 0.36 astronomical units, completing an orbit every 130 days. The planet has a radius about 1.1 times that of Earth, suggesting it's a rocky planet just like our own. Unfortunately, we don't know much about its mass, but its size hints at a composition similar to Earth's. Now, let's dive into the potential for habitable conditions on Kepler 186f. This planet sits in the outer part of its star's habitable zone, receiving about a third of the stellar energy Earth gets from the Sun. This lower energy input means Kepler 186f could have a cooler climate, possibly akin to Earth's ice ages, depending on its atmospheric composition. Speaking of atmosphere, the greenhouse effect would play a crucial role here if Kepler 186f has a thick atmosphere rich in greenhouse gases like CO2, it could trap enough heat to allow liquid water to exist on its surface. And that's key for life as we know it. Given the star's low luminosity and the potential for tidal locking, Kepler 186IF might have some unique weather patterns. Imagine a planet where one side is always facing the star, warm and potentially wet, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness, cold and icy. However, a thick atmosphere or ocean currents could help distribute heat more evenly across the planet. Now let's speculate about life on Kepler 186BF. If conditions are right, the planet could host various forms of life. Imagine cryophilic organisms which thrive in cold environments. These could be similar to extremophiles found in Earth's Arctic and Antarctic regions. Moreover, if Kepler 186F has a stable atmosphere with greenhouse gases, photosynthetic life forms could exist, adapted to the dim red light from the star. These organisms might use pigments optimized for the available light spectrum, potentially appearing darker or even black to maximize light absorption. But what if surface conditions are too harsh? Life could still exist in subsurface environments, perhaps beneath ice layers or within geothermal regions. These habitats could resemble Earth's subglacial lakes, providing isolated, nutrient-rich niches. And don't forget about aquatic life. If Kepler 186FF has liquid water either on the surface or below ice layers, it could harbor a range of organisms, from simple microbes to more complex life forms. Think of creatures adapted to low light conditions and cold water temperatures, maybe even some bioluminescent species lighting up the dark underwater world. Kepler 186FF offers a tantalizing glimpse into the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Whether on the surface, underground or underwater, this distant world could be a treasure trove of alien ecosystems waiting to be discovered. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more space exploration content. Until next time, keep looking up.